What's up, Tribal Laker fam? Welcome to another episode of Farming Land with Brand right here on Tribal Lakers. So, on today's episode, um, I want to discuss one of the animals that we rescued a couple months ago uh, that I just never was able to get it on video. So, I want to introduce you guys to her today. So, let's go meet her. Alright guys, so we are in our unfinished pole barn area um, that we have already used for many of things. Um, one of them in the past recent months has been for one of our rescue animals that we rescued um, and it has worked out really nicely and we use the actually lamb pen uh, for that same for that same animal. Um, and it, we dropped them out right a perfect time when we actually picked up this one. So I got a call um, a couple months ago now, um, one day about a calf uh, that was found on the side of the road and she was just a newborn. So she probably only be maybe alive in between two days or so, maybe three max. And she didn't want to know if we wanted to come get her. So they had looked around and couldn't find any, um, farmers around or where the pasture was that she came from because it was right outside some woods so we came and grabbed them from somebody and they had already gave her a little bit of milk um, so what we did was we brought her back um, gave her some colostrum thanks to one of our really close friends over at Mary's Sustainable Farm who had some colostrum on hand for us and we gave her some colostrum for her first feeding um, so I will stop there and introduce you guys to her uh, real quick so this is Lainey um, right here guys um, she is a lot bigger than when we first got her as you can see um, even after weaning over a month ago she still longs to for milk <laughs> I've never had a bottle calf want milk so bad even after being weaned for this long but she still wants she still wants milk um, but she's not getting it anyways so we got her and you see you're following me um we started bottle feeding her and we ran into of course our normal two-week window where she was on the verge of not making it she got a real bad stomach pain and of course ran into scours but we worked with her really really hard uh it was two feeding her and ended up having to give her some castor oil for the stomach pain and after we treated that after going through it for about a week straight um, we got through it and she is now um, over three months old and working on our fourth month as you can see I don't know if you can tell how big she is um, standing next to me right here she's almost as tall as my waist some areas where she's probably pushing around 175 200 pounds um, as of now and she's doing really well. And what we did was uh, start right in this pen right here. Um, and this is where she was kept. And then as she got older, um, I closed off this area right here with panels and we opened her up in here. Um, so she has a lot more room to roam around, but we only have roofing here still. So that still kept her covered. So we always close her up during the rain, but now she's you know old enough to know what decisions she needs to make and whatnot. That's the only grass she has left in here. So of course we have her on hay um, and some feed to get her growing out like she needs to be as bottle calves do um, just for now. And then she'll come off of it when she goes out to pasture. She is only probably a couple weeks out from going out to pasture to join the rest of the herd. Um, but we want to make sure we got her big enough and ready to go out to pasture. So um, she is more than precious. It means so much to us um she will be used to be bred um here on the farm and once she gets of age of course but she will be here a long long time and uh we've uh fought with her for sure to get her to this point but every cow is worth it um to be honest i'm not 
100% positive what her breed is. I know she has Angus in her, um, but she does have down here some white here and some white under here. Um, so I know that she's possibly possibly mixed with either some dairy, which I don't positively think she is, but she does have some thinner hips back in here, which is more relatively known from dairy cows. I was thinking or hoping she was going to be crossed with Angus and possibly Hereford, but by how she looks, honestly, um, and some of the Angus crosses we have that are crossed with dairy, that honestly is kind of how she's starting to look. So I'm really thinking she might be crossed with the Holstein, but I could be totally wrong. If you guys possibly know, if you can actually see what she looks like without her trying to drink milk for me, again, like she hasn't had, she literally hasn't had milk for well over a month. Um, but this is still what she wants when <laughs> you get in the pen with her. Um, as you can tell, she is absolutely insane and much stronger than she used to be. Um, but if you guys know, just shoot it out. Um, but that to me is what she looks like. Um, definitely Angus crossed with some type of, I'm imagining dairy, but she could be crossed with a different beef breed too. Um, the only reason why I don't think it's her for it is she has no white in her face. Um, but there could be another cow that she's crossed with. I just don't know. Um, but that's just my guess. So, <laughs> if you guys, I just wanted to introduce you guys to Lainey. Um, so you guys can meet her. And you'll get to see her going out to pasture here very, very soon. But she is almost of size and age of us wanting to make sure she is good to go to be with the main herd. And trying to keep her in the frame but that's not really working um but i know I, it took me so long to actually make a video to introduce you guys to her so i really wanted to do that today um so you guys could actually meet her on um, video on our facebook um she has been all over ever since we got her so you can go see her progress on there from where she was then to where she is now um but she is doing absolutely amazing Almost ready to go out to pasture and we love our lady. So super glad we were able to rescue her bring her back to the farm Ah, uh, all right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video today um, Just want to introduce you to Lainey um, Our bottle calf now no longer bottle calf, but that's what she was um, Like I said, she's going to be great here for us on the farm and we're glad that she was able to you know Be picked up by us so that we could actually raise her Raise her right and put her out with everybody else. As you can tell, she still wanted to drink for me, but from uh, from me to her, uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I hope make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and join us right here on Tribal Lakers for the best and more farming videos right here. See you guys.